Bhalia wheat, one of the wheat which has been given the tag of GI, that is geographical indication, indicating that it is specifically grown in specific areas in India. Now, the name suggests Bhalia wheat grown in the Bhal region. Now, this Bhal region belongs to the region near the Gulf of Kambe in Gujarat. The most classic idea behind this wheat which is grown is that this wheat is grown without requirement for water water throughout the process. Now why does it happen? The idea is very simple. During the monsoon months when the water intrudes into the nearby fields, this water would remain in the field till the month of October and November. At that time, sowing of the seed is uh, sowing of the seeds for bhalia wheat is done, and then throughout the season there is no additional water which is given to it, and therefore this wheat is unique because this wheat is grown in a region which does not require water throughout the period till it is harvested in the month of March and April. Now this Bhalia wheat is also known as Gujarat wheat 1. I have the sample here. If you can look it look onto it closely, you would find that this wheat is very different from the other wheat which is what is known as the Sharbati wheat which is one of the very popular varieties of uh, wheat and if I compare both the wheat particles together uh, you can actually see the size of the grain. The size of the grain is very very clear. One is little small uh, because you won't be able to see it out of my fingers but this wheat is actually bigger in size longer in size now this wheat again is grown in three varieties now all the three varieties are unique which we would understand one of the most important things about this wheat is that this wheat is actually gluten rich that means it has a very high content of gluten which is present along with the gluten another important thing is high proportion of carotene now carotene which is beta carotene is considered as a immunity booster good for eyes brain skin and then coming on to gluten. Now gluten had been a topic of debate. Why? Because a lot of researchers nowadays suggest gluten free diet as a good alternative. However, gluten has been in our diets since more than 10,000 years when the farming started during the various ancient civilizations and since then the usage of cereals have been important. The real reason associated with the rising incidence and the popularity of gluten-free food is actually not as associated only with the gluten but due to the fact that there is extra processing that goes with the gluten which increases the amount of sugar and sodium and therefore increases the chances for type 1 and type 2 diabetes. However, Bhalia wheat is considered as a wheat with very, which is very rich in gluten. Gluten is a type of amino acid uh, which is actually the basis for the protein. So the chain of amino acid actually helps to form the protein and protein is the building block for the body. So that's, that's another thing that we have been to. Now since this is grown in very specific region, let's understand where this is actually grown. So if we go on to the map here, this map shows the region of Gulf of Kambe. I'll go to another map first. So this is the map of Gujarat and in this region which is the zone 8 as you can see, this is the region which is known as the Bhal and the coastal area as you can see on the map. The other regions are the South Gujarat, the South Gujarat with lesser rainfall, then is the zone 3 which is the mid Gujarat, zone 3 which is the north Gujarat, zone 5 which is the northwest, zone 6 which is uh, the north Saurashtra, then south Saurashtra and this zone which is typically the Bhal region surrounding the Gulf of Kembe. Now this region which is surrounding the Gulf of Kembe, I'm coming back to this, uh, this region is the area where you have the boundaries of four major, dis uh, three, uh, three or four major districts one is Bhavnagar the other is Ahmedabad the next is Anand another one is Bharuch so these four districts are the predominant districts which are around the Gulf of Kembe and the rivers and the tributaries that drain into these these area are important some of the important ones are uh, the uh, the Sabarmati 
Bhagavo, Bhadar, and more as we proceed, we will understand. Now, the idea is during the monsoon months, as we said, tidal and water intrusion would take place in the nearby areas. So, Dhanduka is another name which is popularly known for, and this. Bhalia wheat is also known as the Dhanduka wheat because of the area Dhanduka, the Taluka Dhanduka, where it is grown. Now, this Taluka Dhanduka belongs to the Ahmedabad district. So, there are three types of wheat which have been uh, explained. One is the Dhandakua, uh, which is also called as the Dudia wheat. It is called Dudia because it is relatively white. Uh, and soft in color. Then there is another which is the Dhula variety which is more reddish in color and then the mixed variety which is known as the Bhalia or uh, the Vaicha which is the mix of these two varieties. So three ways under which the same Bhalia wheat and its um, we could say the hybrid characters grow are explained right. Now coming on to this area in the region of Ahmedabad district we have Dandakua, which is one of the major areas. Then there is Dholka, where this wheat grows. And the another region is the Bavla region. So, Bavla is another area where in Ahmedabad this wheat would grow. So, three areas marked in Ahmedabad district. Coming on to the next area, which is uh, the region of Bhavnagar. Vallabhipur is a major area in Bhavnagar where this grows. Then coming on to the region of uh, Anand. In the region of Anand, Tarapur and Khambat are the two major areas where this wheat grows. In the region of Bharuj, there are two major areas. So in the Bharuj, it is the Vag Vagra, which is one of the areas. The other area is the region of Jambusar. Okay, so Jambusar in Baruch is another area where this grows. Besides this, in the region of uh, Kheda, they, this is the region of Kheda and this is Martar. So in the region of Martar, you have the uh, Bhalia wheat which grows. So this whole region surrounding the Gulf of Kembe is the area where Bhalia wheat grows. However, the predominant region is the region of Dholka, Dandakua and Vallabhipur which is um, in the western side of the Gulf of Kembe where this wheat grows predominantly. And if we talk about uh, some of the major tributaries here, Shetrungi is one of the major tributaries, Bagod, Matan, then Gelo and Kalubhar. Now, Ghelo and Kalubar are two major rivers moving from the region of Botar, uh, crossing the region of Ahmedabad district and finally draining into uh, the Gulf of Kembe. And these are the tributaries. Uh, along these rivers and tributaries is the area where uh, water actually moves during the uh, monsoon months and then this water is stored in the field to increase the nutritional values and after that the seeds are sown for the bhalia wheat which is harvested. Now since it has achieved a GI tag one very important thing is most of the wheat which is actually very less in number uh, around 1.8 to 2 lakh hectares this is actually exported. Now it is exported and used for pasta, macaroni and other processed foods and uh, is highly in demand in uh, substitute to semolina which is commonly called as suji. So bhalia wheat which is uh, one of the weeds growing in the bhal region very very important it received the gi tag in the year 2011 and therefore uh, how it is cultivated is again important and this can also be one of your important case studies in answer writing when you are writing long answer specifically pertaining to water conservation soil conservation and alternate ways of farming since this is a way of farming which does not require water throughout the period uh, throughout the the time it is harvested therefore this is a very unique uh, crop that can successfully be uh, moved to other areas where we are facing saline intrusion and the problems of land degradation in the areas where such uh, crops can be grown and we can see a good 
good potential and possible future for such kind of crops to be grown in those areas so these kind of things you can also include in your answer writing case studies when you are writing about any specific topic and that's one of the ways you improve your answer writing more guidance on answer writing is available in the links below and definitely uh, feedback one on one sessions for answer writing are also available feel free to connect back to us you can also drop uh, in the comments for any specific questions. Queries. Wish you very good luck. Thanks for joining in.